Just another quick video, I am the caveman, and today I installed my actuator. It's a 1,320 pound uh, lift and 880 pound downforce. Now this tractor came with one it's on the inside here, but it seized up, it doesn't work. It's kind of a pain in the butt to get to right now and I want to get some work done so I'll worry about that later so what I did was I added this extension because this is a four inch it's all I needed and fully enclosed right now so when I open it this will drop down it's above 90 degrees already so go about four feet out it'd be about a five inch lift off the ground which would be plenty for what I need to get it off the ground and then it gives me a little extra to have a little downforce on it when I get any sleeve attachments for it but I scavenged a bunch of parts there used to be a connector that went from here to this arm and this is what lifted up and down the mechanism for your sleeve hitch so that's basically what I was replacing with that is this section I had to adapt it a little bit Snag some parts off some other junk that I had around. This is why I don't throw away any scrap metal or anything so that I can go and do that. Got it mounted on there. I'm going to have to wire it in tomorrow maybe. We'll see. I just got my new uh, pole reversing switch in. So should be all ready to go to get that done. But I just wanted to do a quick video. I'll post links down below for the actuator and the switch and everything so you can see what it was that i got but some people go with a six inch i only needed the four i thought that was going to be plenty big enough so we'll try it out after i get it all back together but just a quick update on what's going on with the craftsman gt6000 turning this thing into a workhorse this thing is awesome i love it So, till the next one.